just like that we've made it onto the golf course already this is the 10th hole here at Dundonald Link so we're going to have a little walk down to the clubhouse get to the first tee and let's get started last round didn't go to plan in the red we played Royal Troon which is literally a mile down the road there shot 14 over par wasn't good started off really well it was one under through six then took a triple on the famous um, postage stamp and just sort of lost a little bit of confidence so I've had to think about what I need to do better and it's all about my mentality and just believing in my golf swing having two clear swing thoughts that I'm going to stick to all day instead of chopping and changing when I'm out there so today I know I need to get my face a little bit more open or feel it open and then just think about where my swing path is if I can do that and stay committed to those I was actually playing really nice first six holes so here at Dundonald it's a bit more generous than somewhere like Troon so hopefully we can get back to a, a positive way like we did in episode one at Royal Liverpool so so let's get on to that first tee now, Dundonald Links in the red, episode three, let's do it. I've only played nine holes here, uh, a mixture of front nine and back nine, um, so I'm not 100% sure with the course, but from what I've played, it's really nice. A little bit more generous than Troon, wider fairways, bigger greens, a lot of undulation on the greens. Let's see what we can do. I think a good round today, if we get round that level par mark, break par would be fantastic just need the confidence back after the uh the battering that i got at troon so round three first tee shot it's a par four it's a uh, 463 yards quite generous fairway this one let's uh let's get going we'll take it it's a little fade down the right hand side of the fairway love it right i've got 197 i found the fairway pins right on the front left corner so i could probably hit it 215 tops the nice six try and turn it a little right to left in it's turning towards the center of the green oh, it's nice it's on the green it's nearly pin high there is a little swale at this right side and we've just found that but we're on the green we're dancing it's a great start again just give you an idea of how undulating the greens are here just look straight away at the runoffs, a lot of the greens, left and right have these big cambers off the side of the greens. A lot of swales amongst the greens. And then even at the front, you've got the big pot bunkers and stuff like that. So I think iron play, you've got to be spot on, even though the greens are good, there's no point just hitting it. You've got to hit it at the right spot. Luckily, I've got a straight forward-ish putt. It's just up the slope and looks a little bit left to right on first inspection, so. Let's start this round off nicely. I tell you what, I actually thought I'd under hit that then. But the greens are mega and I reckon they're about 10 or 11 on the stint. They're gonna be a little bit quicker as well as the day goes on because we've got that morning dew on them. But apart to start, we're off into the right, the right rhythm straight away. Right, the second hole, 410 par four lovely little sweeping dog leg left to right lots of undulation on this golf course considering it's quite flat around here they've done a really nice job of building all the banks up and stuff and really framing the holes this one really suits my eye with a little fade so driver knock it down try and get like a hundred left into the green would be nice looks a little pulley stay away from that trap it's going to be left of the trap i think sit it yeah it's gone left of the trap and just up onto the hill it's not actually too bad there i don't think i'll probably have about a wedge left in just put i wanted to get the fade and get it down there it would have been nice but actually it's not too bad of an angle in here so i've just got a pitching wedge it's just a nice one of those i think a little bit of water and a little bit of rough on here it might jump a little bit so try and land this sort of 120 and just let it run up travel a bit Travel. Go on, chase up, chase up. Well, we've got the front of the green. It came out a little bit clunkier than I thought, but we're dancing, it's good. Right, longer than we wanted. We've got about 70 feet up here. The greens are that good. You could hold anything around this golf course. It's gonna move a little bit to the right, but all about the pace up this hill. Break. Just a bit bold, that one. 
about five or six feet by. I've not hit it. <sighs> Matthew. Well, that's annoying. Three putts. Keep doing that at the minute. All down to a poor iron, not being the right distance. Should have hit it full. Oh well. Plenty more golf to be played. Par five, 557 yards. Bunker at 275 uh, down the left. So it's in range with driver, but I'm just gonna fade off it. Uh, good one this. There's a burn running all the way down the right hand side. It's a nice hole. We're gonna we're gonna get back to where we need to be. Stick to this swing thought, stay confident and trust it. And that is what we want. A little fade off the trap. Scooting past it now. It was a tiny bit toey, but do you know what? We're down there, we're safe. Stay positive, Matt, come on. We've got 260 yards down to the flag. It's a nice one, this big, generous green, serious undulations in this one. We played it last night. It was very interesting. There's a bunker at like 250, so I'm just gonna aim at that and try and fade my forward off there. And hopefully we can get, get a nice little Little birdie to get back to the right side of the tracks. It's a little bit right of the flag. I saw a bounce, it should be okay up there. You're just going to be right of the green, I think. So I didn't real, realize how tight it was up here. We just we found it. It's just run into a little bit of a, a nasty little lie there not not what we wanted another five yards left probably would have been in the bunker but at least i can actually get a get a swing on here i need to hud the face of my 60 and just try and pop it out and if i can get the green that would be fantastic a little bit snaggy but should be should be okay sit that was so hard, it was so clumpy and nasty, but we've moved it forwards, it's not the end of the world. We'll get the lob wedge out, you've been chipping it nicely. Have I? I've got two options, I can run it and go up the knuckle here, or I've just got to land it up here somewhere, round about here, and it should stop fairly quickly. Turf's absolutely lovely, it's a good lie. Yeah, just land it up on top. Could chip it in, that would be a heck of a birdie. Just a little bit heavy handed there, just a little bit of nerve setting in after that last shot at the forward. We can hold the putt though, come on Matthew. Stay up, oh my god. Just keep making these silly little errors at the moment. Nothing really like shockingly bad about my game, but just untidy bogeys like I could have hit four iron flick to wedge on but poor club choice with the forward maybe and it's resulted in a, a bogey because i've left myself in a, a terrible place but stay positive 15 more holes to go i can make 15 birdies in a row right we're on the fourth hole it's uh 220 yards up to the flag just when i need a nice par to settle me back down we've got a, a par four that's 220 <laughs> A par three, sorry. I'm going to go four iron. There is a nice bank on the left side of the green, so I can aim at that, cut it off it. If it hits it, it feeds it to the flag. If not, we're in a good spot. Wind's off the left as well, so everything about this is saying a good golf shot for me. It's looking good. It's just right of the flag. Stay on the green, stay on the green. Do not go in that bunker. Do not, do not. Do not, oh. it's pitched on the green and then just fed off into the bunker. I think it's gonna be a day of battling. I've ended up here in the trap. <laughs> brutal, brutal par three that. I thought I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna have a, a 25 foot or 30 foot off a birdie here, but now we've got a sneaky bunker shot for uh, an up and down. I must say it's a lovely looking bunker though. Sit, 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 sit. <sighs> Just a little bit too much speed through there and didn't get the elevation. I've left myself that distance again. Right, here we go again, another eight footer for par. I don't half like making the game hard for myself.
I can't tell you how much that means to me, folks. I can't tell you how much that means. That is a real right off my shoulders. Right, two over, on to the next par five, the fifth. So the fifth hole, 566 yards, a par five, dog leg right to left. Get a nice one away down here, commit to the swing. Let's just roll through these next holes with a nice bit of confidence. Ooh, it's just over the left trap. Oh, do you know what? That could be really good. Tiny pull, but it's gone a heck of a way, I think. That has come out. That should be down near the front right corner of the green, hopefully. Actually went a little further than I was expecting there. We had 220 up to the flag. I've actually only got 50 yards now. Just a little bit above my feet, which is annoying, but let's see if we can do something. Big kick. Swing round, keep swinging. Come back down that slope a little bit for me. Come on, baby. Guess what, we've got about, about eight to nine foot range again. <laughs> break, 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 break. <sighs> Didn't move as much as I thought it would, that. Did heal it as well. Right, but it's a par, two pars in a row. We're, we're on the right track. Lovely par three, this one protected tucked up just going to go right of that little bunker we see little large bunker and just take a little fade onto the flag oh nearly hit a seagull but it's drifting back towards the flag could be very good this oh no don't spin don't it's just got on the top tier and just zipped down a little bit because the undulation again's there but we're on the green looks like i've got a bit of a hilly putt Swing back, swing back. Love leaving myself a tester today. We'll take that one, sir. We will take that one. That was a, a little knee knocker. Another par onto the seventh. Ooh, a little bit necky. Missed that trap. Missed that trap. Just trickled off the fairway. So slopey around here. We've got 139 to the flag, so I've got pitching wedge. I can just hit this pretty much full out travel a bit oh got it a little steep and it's got to the front and run down the green so unsure of my yardages it's annoying really got to be bob on with the yardages sort of three or four yards more and it's running on i did catch it the best but you've got to be bob on and i think that's something move forwards i've really got a nail how far each club goes and what conditions are doing to the golf ball because it's just costing me at the moment. They're not far out, but they're costly mistakes. Break in, break in, break in. We'll take that folks, it's stone dead. It is stone dead. Don't even need my putter for that one. Whew. But like I say, if I hit a, a wedge, I should hopefully be having 10, 15 foot for birdie. Not a little chip, but it's another par. We move on, we need the fire to get lit. Eighth hole, 403 yards. A little bit of a blind one, some gorse covering the fairway, but a, a subtle dog leg left to right. Another good drive, I'm striking it nicely. Just gotta get those irons dialed in. It's pretty straight, just at that gorse down the middle. I was aiming pretty much just right at this and pulled it. I could have gone 30, 40 yards right, but got a little bit of a snaggy lie. I should be able to get a nine iron up and out. Missed that trap, have a really nice kick. Sit. Come back to me. Right, we're on the green, came out a little bit skinnier than intended, but Need a bit of luck sometimes. <sighs> that looks so good. It just seemed to gather pace as it kept going and going, going, had the right line. It's just run over the edge of the hole. <sighs> just got that tester distance now. Oh, that's unfair. That's unfair. Two, three put bogeys and another bogey. I'm three over. I just wish I could get near par. 
Right, ninth hole, 420. Need, need a few birdies. Got to stay positive. This is where I would dip and just sort of lose it a bit, but same swing thoughts. Come on, not actually playing that bad. Three overs, almost a little unfair because I've not hit it wild, but that's golf. Down the right, a lot more room than I thought. I thought it was going to be in the jungle, but only a couple of strides to the fairway. I've got 138 up to the flag. It's just a good full ledge here. Just going to commit to hitting it full. Travel a bit, travel a bit. Oh, be good. I think we're going to have about a 15 foot of a birdie for once. The battle commences. We've pitched just into the upslope here. If that gets like two or three more feet, it's probably stone dead. It just feels like I'm right on the cusp of something great and getting all the right luck. But I'm also on the other side where I'm just missing things at the minute and getting punished. But that's golf. Got to play with the cards that you dealt, really. But let's see if we can just roll this down the hill and get it chasing up to that flag and get a par. New nine, move on. Why am I not chipping that? Thank God that went in or else we would have been having a major head off. Right, that's three over par for nine holes. Like I say, just feel like I've just got to get a little sharper with those irons, get them into the right spots because just missing them and just getting punished for those misses at the minute. New nine, let's go. Okay, we're on the 10th, new nine, 472 yard par four, just tweaks back round to the left hand side right to left dog leg let's get this i'm going to go deep on this nine i'm going for it all out some good iron shots and we're all gravy i'm not sure about that bit dead we'll just hit a provisional just in case i feel like that's going to be okay Hit it in exactly the same place, we'll find one of those. <laughs> not the place we want to be. A little bit of jungle, not the start we wanted for this nine, but it's okay, we found it. I think I've got roughly about 160 in, I can't even see where the flag is. I've just gotta go sort of front right of the green here. Try and get it out of all this. Well that, if it's the right number, should be safely aboard the green. Hopefully we've got a bit of fortune there. Just pulled up just in front of the green, typical, but it's not too much of a, a dangerous chip. Just got to bump it on and let it feed down. Sit, 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 sit. Ah, don't go up that slope. Oh my God. Ah, come on, come on. That is literally just going over the edge of the hole each time. Bogey. Not the start we wanted, got a lot of work to do. It's the 11th hole. The lodge I'm staying in is just there. The temptation to walk in right now because they are very cozy in there. And when you're a little bit out of luck with your game, I could just easily go back in there and chill. If you are in the area as well and looking for somewhere to stay, the perfect for staying. And then you've got golf courses, Kilmarnock's just next to you, Royal Troon, Western Gales is just over the railway. It's a great little area. And those are the perfect little spots just to, uh, to hang out, chill in the clubhouse, have a base and just travel around Ayrshire for a bit of golf. But back to the matter in hand, I need a birdie. And we've chosen the hardest hole to get on. 125 up to the flag, it's downwind. This hole, three bunkers facing you. If you go long as well, there's a bunker that you just don't want to go in called the cauldron. It's like eight foot deep, back up onto the green, about 25 yards, but a good 50 degree wedge here, just hit it at the pin. I can go beyond a little bit. Let's see if we can get back. Let's get steady. It can go one or two ways this round. It's a bit right of the flag, needs to go. Stay there, do not spin. Don't spin. That's gonna be a brutal putt. I love it, but I hate it. The greens are so tricky. We've gotta come up here, then it's gonna swing this way, then it's gonna swing that way. It's only a short little hole, but tell you what they've made it uber tricky with the undulations in the greens and the bunkers around the greens it's it's not it's not nice <laughs> I 
how mental is golf? I've got, saying how hard this green is, I've got a long putt, just missed a short one for bogey, and then you drain a 50 footer across an undulation. That is why golf is brilliant and also horrible at the same time. Right, on to the next hole. What a view this is on the next. 12th hole absolutely stunner here if we just have a look in the distance we can see the isle of Arran just over there gorgeous just across the bay across those train tracks as well you've got western gales golf course which is meant to be stunning but back to the matter at hand we've got 367 yards downwind it's a little dog leg right to left i'm just trying to get this close have a chip make another birdie That is right, straight at the train stanchions, actually where we aimed it. It's a fair way found. <sighs> that birdie's brought a new lease of life to Effers. Right, 48 yards on top of this crest. A little bit funky, but let's see if we can get one in close. It's not done too bad. We've got a little six footer for bird. Done it, the back-to-back -back king, folks, back, two birdies in a row. I feel like we're on a bit of a heat and my confidence is back, we're going good. 13th hole, 382 yards straight down. There's a sneaky little burn hidden in front of this green and it's a two-tier Mackenzie, so good driver again, down the middle and then leave myself hopefully a, a flick in. Just down the right side of the fairway. Come on, kick left. Should be okay, maybe just on the edge. It's right on the stick, be the number. Obviously gone over the back of the green. Why are you being nasty to me, golf course? Ball's pitched here. If it pitches about there, it's rolling back down to that flag. I'm literally like a yard or two out every time, but the severity of the up and down here now, I've literally got to land this somewhere around here for it to trickle down. You've got to be so spot on around here. It is phenomenal. Think about it, don't just hit the shot. You've got to land it. That's your land spot and let it feed down. You can't put it, it'll have too much speed on it, so. Hmm, it's actually done okay. I almost duffed that. Well, I did duff it a little bit and it's run out to there. And breathe and relax. We've made a par, we can move on. A nice fade down the middle, should finish just right side of the fairway. Yeah, bounding down the middle now. Definitely found a feeling with driver a little bit more this back nine. Right, slap bang down the centre. Got 220 up to the flag, so I'm gonna hit four iron. Just cut it against the wind a bit. It's right on the stick. Chase, chase, go in the hole. Ooh, that'll do. It's about 15 foot, we'll take that one. A bit generous on 15 foot. I've got about 20 foot down the hill. There's a subtle right to left on this of about two balls. This would be a beauty of an eagle. I'd love for this to drop. Would really get my mojo back. I did not see that going right at the start. It literally broke that way. That was a complete misread from me. Great pace. It's a birdie. We're back to one over par. I was thinking I was going to shoot 90 like at Truna halfway through this vlog, but we're fighting back. Stay positive. I've stayed with those thoughts that I said at the start of the vlog. A few more holes to go. Let's see if we can get under par. Okay, the 15th hole, another treacherous par three. 205 off the back here today. I'm going to go five iron. It's a little downwind. Just need to air right of the flag, if anything, because there is some bunkers that look about 15 foot deep. Please be the right yardage, because that is all over the stick. No, don't go in there. Oh, I caught it a little bit steep and it's literally pitched in the face. 
and gone in the bunker. This is gonna be exciting. Have you seen the size of this trap? Let me just show you this. The green's above my head, so it's like eight feet up to there. That's a little bit mental, a little bit mental. God. The good thing is, just left of the flag here, I've got a bit of undulation that can bring the ball back round to the flag. Right, if I go dead at it, it's a shallower face. So, lots of speed, lots of height. Come on, Luke Donald-esque bunker-like play. Oh my God, get in, get in, oh! That's literally hit the back of the hole, spun up and just run out to about four feet. That looks so good for so long. Oh, that would have been insane if that would have gone in. That would have been the greatest bunker shot of all time. Period, no questions. You can't even have an argument about it. That is a worldie. That is a worldie up and down. I am so proud of myself for that. Looking at that bunker off the tee, it looks like the place you do not want to go, but we're keeping the ball rolling, folks. We're keeping the ball rolling. There is chances. Three holes to go. Okay, 16, brute, 486. Pretty straight down. We've got these sirens going off in the background because they're saying I'm gonna hit a monster. Oh, it's left side. Keep cutting, keep cutting scuppered myself there I've just caught the rough with that bit of a pull and it's really made this hole a lot longer now I've got 230 into the wind going up there's nothing up near the green it's pure run up there so I'm gonna hit three iron try and chase it a little bit out of this land not with a strike like that that was woeful that was the first time I've really questioned my swing thoughts today. I found a few of these where I'm like right on the crest of the hill and then the ball's above my feet. Bit annoying really. Just go on the top and give me a flat lie, will you? Right, I've got 60 yards up to the flag. Three iron was not good. 54, just try and land it about 50 yards and let it chase up. Pretty happy with that, giving myself a chance. Nice little pitch that. You've kept the dream alive with that one, Matthew. Well done. Who would have known that little bit of pitching practice you did actually works? Oh, I'll tell you what, that is a wonder par. Terrible drive, nearly shanked to three iron. Great pitch, sneaky putt. Two holes to go. I'm feeling it. Birdie Eagle finish. Get deep in that red. 438 yards this 17th. The course itself is 7,200 when I've just checked. No wonder it feels like a slog. I'm used to playing Warrington at like 6 2. <laughs> it's just going over the right edge of it. Should be in the fairway, but you might just run out. Looking at this, it looks like the flattest green on the golf course. I've just got to cover a bunker at the front, which is like. 130, so I'm going eight iron. I'm gonna take dead aim. Let's get this one on close. This is a pivotal moment here. Let's go, come on. Hold your line, be the right number. Oh, it's just not gone. I really am underestimating today. It wasn't my best strike, but it's only got the front of the green. There must be so much more wind than you can actually feel. Yeah, that's like a club at least wind. <sighs> Long putts coming up. Like, it wasn't my best strike, wasn't flushed, but that wind's just come into me. And it's just the little elements like that when you're not playing all the time. You sort of forget those little things and it just shows how much it makes an effect for like people who are watching at home. I've hit a good shot, you would say, but now I've got a, probably the best part of 80 feet up here and it brings in that, that trouble, that pressure all because I didn't think about the wind and hit a seven iron and I've hit it pin high. It's just little things like that that make rounds good or great. But that being said, let's roll in a monster. Hit the stick, hit the stick. Oh my God. Oh. It's literally just over the edge of the hole. I've raced it by a little bit. It was that far from being middle stick and going in. Just a tiny bit bold. Whew. 
That is a big saving grace. I'm stood over that thinking, God, if I three put this, I'm two over. Got my mind back just focused on the pace that I wanted to roll it at but those are things like I say there just a little racy with the first put it's nearly gone in but you three put that it's a bogey and I'm like Ugh. and I've not really played the whole bad good drive well struck iron shot just a poor clubbing decision so do take that into account folks be very aware of the conditions and how much they're going to affect you the final hole the final swing of glory 578 yards par five Let's get this smash down there. Looks quite an inviting fairway, a tiny little left to righter. And we're, uh, we're good. Birdie, we get level. Eagle, we get in the red. <laughs> Doesn't look too bad over there. I've just pulled that one. Um, I'll hit another one just in case. So that'll be left semi. The other, I'm not sure on. We shall find out, folks. My provisional ball is here. Another 30 on. So my other one was a little bit more hooky and ended up back here. It's literally just pitched and killed in the rough here and it's not a nice lie. We found the real thick stuff, so can't go for the green in two. I'm just gonna have to hack my 54 towards the, the buggy, hopefully get on in three well it's out it's away we've got a bit of a journey to the green now right 220 left to this flag let's go four iron little smash at the bunker left this would be a nice birdie if i just up and downed it with a four iron from 220 travel travel all the way to it I've pushed it a tiny bit and it's literally pitched in the front of the green and kicked straight back into the water hazard by the looks of it. Oh, the fell at the final hurdle. Oh, it's pitched on the side there. And there we are, the watery grave. That's humiliating for me. If I would have actually hit my target, I would have been pitching up here and running up on, but there we go that's golf folks right three drop four playing five knee drop that's a nice lie right we need we need a chip in i fancy a little cheeky chip in to to help me out here you know a little cheeky cheeky chip in don't run on So deflated now. I was doing so well. So well. We finished with a bogey. We were so close. We were so close. Guys, thanks for watching. We're getting better. It's better than true. Dundonald, thank you for having me. This golf course is a brute, but beautiful all at the same time. Episode four coming very soon. We're heading to the Fairmont. See you there.